Ông kia cho Please be seated The court is now back in session. And before I hand the floor to the defense team for a new chair, the chamber would like to inform the relevant parties that last week the chamber was seized of a request by the co-prosecution. That is E319-7. To uh, request to hear testimony of uh, testimonies of new witnesses, de, de and de the chamber would like to hear the comments or observations or responses from other parties, so that we can use as the, the basis for our decision, and we can do it for the afternoon session at the, at the end of this afternoon session for that. And the chamber would like now to again hand the floor to Councilor Coupe to continue putting questions. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, uh, Mr. President, excuse me. Um, Mr. Witness, I have one additional question on uh, this document that we have been discussing at length, E3-4093. And it's the same sentence um, that refers to um, if children cannot be separated. Je reviens à cette phrase. Si les enfants ne peuvent être décrochés de leur mère. Um, the witness is um, doing something with his phone, so I wait until he's finished. Le témoin fait quelque chose avec son téléphone apparemment, donc je vais attendre qu'il ait fini. Yes, Mr. Witness. Um, so, I would like you to go back to that same sentence that starts but with, but if children. Um, I will read to you what I have in my English translation. My English translation reads as follows. But if children cannot be separated from their mothers, Request to bring them in for interrogation and after everything is finished to sweep them all clean. Now my first question is uh, children that cannot be separated from their mothers. Uh, does that mean small babies? On the issue of the word uh, children use in this context, it does not refer to babies. Dans ce contexte, l'on ne veut pas parler de bébé, de nourrisson. They refer to uh, children. L'on veut parler d'enfant. But as I stated, I did not know uh, what happened dis, after. Mais comme je pas ce qu'il est advenu par as la suite. I only uh, made a report. Je me suis and wrote de down the rapport, decision from the de upper echelon. So whatever supérieur. was decided by the upper echelon, I would write that down. La décision, uh, I understand, uh, uh, Mr. Witness, but I'm, I'm interested in the words children ca that Merci, cannot be separated. Does that mean babies or younger children who are still in the care of their mother? Children here does not refer to uh, babies or who are still breastfed. Here, to my understanding, it refers to younger children who could uh, walk. And in fact, uh, I did not see what happened next, as I stated. Um, but 
the note seems to make a distinction between bigger children that have already gone to the mobile units or children's units on the one hand, and on the other hand, children that cannot be separated from their mothers. So my question is, what exactly do you mean with children that cannot be separated from their mothers? Now, people who work at the mobile units were the male and female youths. There were also a group of children who were between 10 to 12 years old. And here, as for children who could not be separated from et the et mother, and I explained it to you already, to my understanding, he does not refer to the breastfed babies, but it refers to a younger children who could speak and who could walk. And further than that, since I did not see what happened, I could not uh, say anything more. I only uh, forwarded the report to Taron for his decision. Um, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, Mr. President, I have a request, um, and that is in relation to this document. Um, as you know, we have uh, submitted already a few times that um, no original documents uh, exist, and that everything that we are, talking, that we are dealing with uh, are copies. Um, so we have been a bit... Um, we, we did some handicraft, uh, to put it like that, and we have tried to, um, to imitate as much as possible how possibly uh, the original could have looked like. We based ourselves on um, the documents, the Khmer documents, and the way that this little note, which is written, it seems, by this witness, was attached to it. Um, I seek your guidance as to uh, how to proceed. Um, what we, I'll show it to you. What we have done is made a copy of what is probably the notebook and what is possibly the way his note was attached. Um, and I would like to ask the witness something about whether this, in fact, uh, would be similar to the way he attached notes to other reports, and if, if yes, how exactly did that go? So, uh, it's uh, something because of the lack of original documents, we, we would like to, uh, to be able to show this to you. So I'm, I'm in your hands uh, on, at this request. We would like to show what we fabricated as witnesses. And I ask the chamber if she would agree or not. May I ask a question? Is the objective to show how they were physically patched together? Uh, yes, uh, but there are many of those documents, and, and I'm just trying to establish whether this was in fact how it was done, that he was in fact adding 
les rapports étaient présentés ainsi, et si les notes étaient agrafées ainsi, like. sur le rapport, on va savoir à quoi ressemblait ce document. Well, you've seen the trouble that I have with getting uh, an answer on this document. I thought this would be practical. You know, I've been trying to get answers, so I thought it would be practical to show the things in this way. President, the international co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Well, if your honors are considering having this shown to the witness, I think the other parties deserve the opportunity to see what it is. Si cela est montré aux témoins, je pense que les autres parties devraient pouvoir également voir de quoi il s'agit. Nous pouvons laisser de côté cette question pour après la pause sans problème. Pour Um, the reason I'm also asking this now is because it seems to be unclear whether his note, in fact, uh, refers to the underlying documents. And, uh, since we do not have any original whatsoever, um, I think we need to establish whether his little note, in fact, refers to the underlying documents, which seem to be one package. So I think uh, this uh, witness is potentially in a unique position as to say uh, how in in that period, documents were 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 handled, and whether in fact he stapled this or glued this or used a paper clip, and whether it would be possible that this little note has in fact nothing to do with the underlying document. This comment that the questions council raised makes sense, but he can ask them without something that's been created not by a witness. He can ask those questions. How were things attached? Does his note refer to the subsequent documents? He's been doing that already. Okay, I'll I'll give it a try, Mr. Witness. We were speaking about. Uh, the little note Monsieur that you've said you've written. De la note que vous avez Do you remember avoir écrit how you attached vous -vous your de little note or your note to the underlying document? document did you staple it? Did you use a paper clip? In this specific case, do you remember how you attached que vous des your note uh, to the other documents. Comment est-ce que vous attachiez vos notes aux documents principaux ou aux autres documents? I would just, sorry, my objection is it's not clear that. Excusez-moi. I mean, the question presumes the note was attached to the other documents. The witness hasn't testified to that. And in fact, the document the counsel referred to earlier. La défense a mentionné. That's the next two pages. It says, as for the report from the grassroots of Trumpong Tom Kong Chung, I have already sent it to the district organization. This is a copy of the report from the grassroots. And then it ends, may the respected and beloved comrade in charge of the district branch please be informed. So I don't want to, I don't want to suggest anything to the witness, but uh, there's a, definitely other possibilities other than that these documents were uh, sent with, by the witness with the note. In fact, I, I agree completely with the prosecution. Uh, the fact is that we don't know. Um, and uh, what we do know is that, as I said many times before, we do not have originals. And we do know that these documents have been extensively used uh, post-1979. Um, and uh, 
if there if this little note is attached to this document we si we, we need to be able to to establish whether that document, is in fact the case because at the end of the day we're talking about what seems certain. to be a direct order to execute people and, uh, so again I, 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 I would ici. like to ask the, 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 the question that I asked before uh, mr. Je, Witness, do you remember in this specific case question, whether you in fact attached si vous avez uh, your note to the underlying document au document principal, dans ce cas précis. I cannot recall that. Le témoin, je ne m'en souviens pas. Because when I see this uh, little note Lorsque with only four lines uh, here in this court, it does not uh, assist me in recollecting uh, what I did at the time. Do you vraiment, remember whether you used um, small little Maître notes, Copé. small little papers from a small notebook and then vous attach it si vous aviez un petit carnet, to pages uh, coming from a children's notebook? I cannot recall that. Le I did not know how pas. I attached the, the brief note to those documents because what we have in our hands here are copies and they are not the originals. Copies, originals. I would like to read to you, uh, Mr. Witness, a, a passage Copé, from lire, the statement of the female witness that we've been discussing earlier. Femme, and I would like uh, to have your attention for question 212. That is document, Mr. President, um, E3119-12.3.2. Uh, and uh, question 212 is the following, and I quote, um, when the militia men arrested people, did you write a response letter to Anne? Lorsque des miliciens Answer. Ont arrêté des personnes, que vous avez I did not write to Anne, but I wrote straight Anne. to the district réponse. secretary. Because at that time, some letters were forgeries. So I was also worried about myself. Et, et pour In that letter, I wrote, lettre, now the people have been arrested as requested. Now, Mr. Witness, um, this particular witness who seemed to be a cadre at your level, um, testified to the existence of forgeries. Does that ring any bell with you? I'd like to show the documents that is E3 slash through 785. And it is uh, sent to camera N that the two men fled through June and the document dated 7 March. And underneath it was signed as a sign. And to my understanding, this letter is a forgery because forgeries did exist during the DK period. And I can confirm that the handwriting in this letter is not mine. And as in the case of this uh, woman who, whose statement you just uh, read out, she also confirmed about the, the, the forged letters during the DK period. And probably you can uh, understand that why Daron did not write his own uh, instruction and why he only uh, provided an overall instruction to me to write. Maybe he did not want to be implicated due to the fact that the 
Her hard copy documents may exist, but the oral report could not be uh, found. On pas and that he did not want to put him oral, him himself at the risk in this situation. I understand, uh, Mr. Witness, but would you be able Maître to explain Copé. why E3 slash 2785 is a forgery? What is the le basis e of your reasoning as to faux? why this document, which seems to be a contemporaneous DK document, is in fact a forgery? Nous dire, uh, quel est votre raisonnement qui vous pourriez-vous nous dire ce qui vous permet de dire qu'il s'agit là d'un faux? The evidence that I rely on is that the handwriting is not Je my handwriting. Sur le fait il pas là de mon it is not my handwriting at all from what Ce I can see. Tout mon Ce que je vois ne correspond pas à mon écriture. But how would you be able to tell that it is a DK forgery? Would it be possible, I ask you to speculate, but is there a knowledge that you have that it could be a post-1979 forgery? Answer uh, to the year Réponse. of the forgery, I cannot uh, tell you. Je ne peux pas vous dire quelle est, en quelle année cette lettre a été contrefaite. So you 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 stick to your testimony that Question. because it doesn't look like your handwriting and your vous signature, donc and because it says son. It must be a forgery. Is, is, that, is, that your, is that your testimony? C'est votre nom qui s'était ici, San. Il s'agit nécessairement d'un faux. Est-ce que c'est bien là ce que vous affirmez? But yes, it is. Oui. Because the handwriting is not mine. C'est bien parce qu'il ne s'agit pas de mon écriture. Um, how about document, Mr. Witness, E3/2423? I believe that it is your testimony that also in relation to this document that it is not your handwriting. My page, Mr. President, 00079128. So again, Mr. Mr. Witness, have a look at E3 slash 2423. And tell me whether this is your signature, yes or no, and if you believe it's a forgery. Votre signature, oui ou non, et sinon, s'il s'agit pour vous d'un faux. Document E3 slash 2423 also does not uh, contain to my own writing. But in relation to the previous document, you were very um, strong in your answer in saying that it is a forgery. Are you saying that this is also a forgery? And if yes, why? The only reason réponse. that I rely on is the handwriting. Je uniquement sur and that handwriting is not mine. I would like you, Mr. Witness, to have now a look at Question. E3 slash 2444. And I'm asking you the same question. You, you, you testified earlier that this is not your handwriting. Vous avez dit précédemment your signature. Ne pas de votre signature ni Please de confirm. Votre -vous confirmer, vous plaît?
Monsieur le Président, le National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you have the floor. Prosecutor, Mr. President, in reference to document E3-2444, raised by the Defense Council, in my note, the witness stated that he could not read the letter there, and he did not say that it was not uh, his uh, uh, handwriting. Uh, fair enough. Um, I'll, um, I'll, I'll move on to another document. We were ba basing ourselves upon the, the draft uh, transcript, so it wasn't always um, clear to us. Uh, Mr. Witness, now um, I would like you to have a look at um, E3-4122. My question is the same. Et je vous pose la même question. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, uh, Mr. President, I'd like to have the floor. National. President, Monsieur yes. President, puis -je la parole? You can proceed. Oui, Co-Prosecutor, co Mr. President, Monsieur le Président, the, the, the Council referred to an E3 la document without uh, giving e the exact year and number, and in this case, this doc exact. document is uh, nine pages long. So Et please instruct him pages. to give us the year and number. President, président, thank you. And Council Coupe, could you please uh, specify the year and number of the uh, document in the three languages so that uh, the parties in the bench uh, can follow your question? And that would also facilitate the Duty Council to uh, assist the witness. Yeah, of course, Mr. President. Um, the Khmer document, the Khmer ERN is 00271087, and the English ERN is 00779255 up until uh, 57. Uh, I'm afraid, I apologize, I don't have the French ERN right now. Mr. President, it seems that uh, the, f uh, the duty council doesn't actually have E3-4122, so with your permission, I would like uh, to hand over the document uh, to the witness. President, yes, uh, you may do so. Le président, allez-y.
Mr. Duty Council, I believe it's um, uh, 0027-1087, the specific to my page. de la page ERN 0027-1087-1087 à la fin, donc maire. So, Mr. Witness, I believe that yesterday you said this wasn't your handwriting. Are you confirming this now? And if yes, is it your position? I see the prosecution stand. President, you may proceed, International Court Prosecutor. I was going to say that I did not use this document. I don't recall that Judge Laverne did, uh, or any of the other judges did it, or the civil parties in the question. Um, I requested my team to uh, collect all documents shown to the witness that he spoke of. I'm not sure if I did it correctly. Uh, so I'll be happy to, uh, to re organize this and to make sure that it was actually mentioned in the draft. No? procéder à une vérification et m'assurer que cela a été que ça figure bien dans le procès verbal. I'll move on to the next document then just uh, to speed up. Bien, alors pour um, and then I look at you uh, as well suivant. Judge Lavergne. Um, I believe E3 le document slash 2424 24, was shown yesterday. 24, il me semble a été présenté hier. Um, to the witness, and if I do not see any nodding heads, Mr. Witness, I would like you to have a look at E3 slash 242, 2424, I apologize. Khmer ERN 0027 and 61. Si je peux me permettre, je, je ne pense pas avoir utilisé le document. Don't believe I use this document if you may allow me to say so. Je ne pense pas avoir I utilisé ce document. Don't believe I used this document. Um, then let me uh, propose the following. I will revisit this subject after the break. Maybe something went wrong in the communication within my team. We had to do it very last moment. Um, so, Mr. Witness, I will. I did use that document. Ah, so, question uh, uh, is answered. Um, Mr. Witness, is that your handwriting and your signature? And if no, is it your testimony that this must be a forgery as well? Answer which document number? You are referring to uh, E3 slash 2424. You don't have it? Mr. Witness, with your permission, I would like to um, no. uh, hand um, the document um, to the witness, E3-2424. President, you may proceed. And specifically, Mr. Witness, I would like you to have a look and Mr. Duty, Duty Council, uh, Khmer 0027057, and 
well, I'm, I'm, I'm not a good reader of Kumaya, so I think um, it is on Kumaya page 6-1 at the end, 5-8 and 5-7. These are the relevant pages. Mr. Witness, are you able to tell us something about this document? Is Monsieur that your handwriting and signature that you si see in front of you? Et votre signature. I guess I like a man, like so and so and be, pumple, so and pumple, hock mui. Answer, uh, which eon number? Is it uh, 0027-0761? And document E3 document E3 slash 2424, is that correct? Um, I just gave you my copy, so uh, I'm not sure. Um, Mr. President, I suggest to do the following, to, uh, to reorganize so we have exactly um, um, the relevant page. I, th I think we have it now, uh, but I'm relying on my uh, Khmer consultant to actually identify the document. So if that is all right with you, I will re uh, address this issue after the lunch break. And I'll move on to the next uh, topic. Um, so, Mr. Witness, I will, I will come back to this issue, um, Ainsi, but now Vétonin, I would like to ask you a few questions question. uh, in relation to some other things that um, the female witness that we just spoke about uh, has testified to. Um, there, are, there are certain passages in her statement that I would like to read to you, and my question would be each time to ask uh, for your comment. So, Mr. President, this is E319 slash 12.32. Uh, First, I would like to go to question A56. And 
if the duty council has the question uh, laid out for the witness, I would like to quote it. Um, the question is about Tamok. Um, did you personally know him? The witness is asked. Yes. I personally knew him. Sometimes he came to see the cooperative kitchen and he asked the people whether they ate enough or not. Tamok visited every site. I met Tamok. Um, my question is actually very simple, Mr. Witness. Can you confirm or not that Tamok always asked whether people had enough to eat? Si oui ou non, Tamok avait demandé si les gens avaient suffisamment à manger. Tamok. Answer. Tamok. Réponse. Always as like what the lady said in her statement. Ce que dit he always asked dans whether sa people had enough food. Si les gens avaient suffisamment à manger. Um, in your recollection, did that mean that he was concerned about whether people had enough to eat, whether that was one of his prime concerns? Et que c'était l'une de ses préoccupations principales que de savoir si les gens avaient suffisamment à se nourrir? Answer. He was always concerned about this as uh, he was a rice farmer. Il était agriculteur et cultivait du riz. Do you rec Maître recall Coco. any situations uh, that he was shown situations in which people didn't have enough to eat and then, jamais then he instructed to take measures? Les pas à he manger, instructed people to take measures. Il à ce moment-là réagi en donnant des instructions pour remédier à cette situation. Vous jamais été témoin d'une telle de telles circonstances. Mien khñom chuop mien pel kha ke on some occasions. Réponse. Parfois he took actions he took measure il prenait he des would mesures get the rice from uh, his warehouse and supply it uh, to people de son entrepôt et il le donnait aux gens thank you mr witness um, the same witness uh, was asked a question on a posé une question uh, à ce même témoin in question 101 101. De la question and I would like to read the question to you and her answer, and then question, again I would like to ask you a reaction. Quelle est votre reaction? Question. question. After the Khmer Rouge declared their victory in 1975, Après Phnom Penh was unpopulated Khmer because they evacuated the city. Many people were evacuated to Sector 13. How did the Khmer Rouge authorities divide or classify all of those evacuees? Answer. As I remember, first they concentrated them in one place, then they divided them out to villages to live mingled together. They divided them out to each village based on the economic scale of that village. Um, please give your reaction to that uh, testimony, Mr. Witness. Is that accurate or not accurate, what the witness says? affirmer si ce que dit le témoin est exact ou est inexact? Answer. The statement here is uh, correct. Le témoin, ce qui est ici dit est correct. Would you be able to tell us some more what it means? To live mingled together. How did that work in practice? Motamo mélanger les uns aux autres. Comment est-ce que ça se passait dans dans la pratique? Nei nei da tha ruo no chom. To live mingled together means that uh, people. From Phnom Penh, Cela voulait dire que they les were allowed to live with uh, villagers. Villagers, yeah. That's the meaning. So uh, voilà people from Phnom Penh had to live with villagers together in one house. 
uh, avec les villageois et que dans une seule maison on avait from Phnom Penh living together with uh, villagers there que des villageois et tous vivaient ensemble maître Copeux if do you know uh, or do you remember if people who had come vous souvenez -vous, uh, from Phnom Penh to mingle with uh, the people in the village were discriminated against si les gens venus just de for the reason that they came from Phnom Penh earlier. Les villageois faisaient l'objet d'une discrimination simplement parce qu'ils venaient de Phnom Penh. I never experienced any discrimination. I never encounter, encounter such uh, Je n'ai jamais incident. rencontré un tel incident. Yet, Mr. Witness, there is testimony that um, so-called 17 April people uh, felt that they were not as treated as well as the villagers. Um, are you able to uh, react to that? Answer. Concerning this um, matter, I, I guess perhaps uh, people from Phnom Penh, they had their own thoughts, and I myself have had different thoughts. I, at that time, thought that uh, my relatives uh, were from uh, Phnom Penh, and they were 17 April, people, ma famille était des gens and du 17 I uh, did not know this uh, matter clearly, perhaps uh, people just thought uh, that by themselves. Do you know whether there was a policy, a Khmer Rouge policy, to discriminate against uh, the 17 April people? Do you know if such policy existed? Answer. Before I came to live in Tramka district, I did not know whether such a policy existed. Je ne savais pas si oui ou non il existait une telle politique avant d'arriver au district de Tramka. I did not recall uh, when I went to live uh, in Tramka district. I heard the announcement that all people J'ai entendu were dire equal. que tout le monde était égal. Thank you Mr. Witness. I would like to move on to another passage from Maître um, this witness statement. De ce procès verbal um, so that is A111. Uh, up until A114. Jusqu'à la réponse so, Mr. Mr. Uh, witness I would like to read the whole passage. It's, it's a little bit longer than the previous one, but please bear with me. Question. During the Khmer Rouge regime, the party arranged marriages. How did they arrange marriages? Was there a discussion within the sector level or was that decided by the cooperative level or village level? Answer. The commune level listed the names of couples to la be married commune, commune, and sent the names to the sector level to decide how many couples were to be married each time. Secteur, uh, I, at the lower level, did not dare to make decisions on this issue. Moi, the ones who loved each other came to inform us Ceux and we listed their names and sent their names to the sector. Leur, uh, those who did not agree also told us they did not agree and we crossed out their names. Question. We have evidence and we know that the people did not have freedom in choosing their spouses and the party forced people to get married. Is this true? Answer. The party decided but they arranged for the new people to marry the new people. While the old people had to marry the old people. 
we can say that there were forced marriage forced marriages because the party decided them. if the new people had to marry the old people and if anyone refused we crossed their names out because some people had bad backgrounds question were those forced marriages or those marriage arrangements designated by center level down to zone level to sexual level then to district and commune level or were they decided by the commune or district level Answer. The center level did not decide them. The commune and district level did. And finally, question, who decided who was to marry whom? Answer, 140. At my site, I checked which men and women worked together and got along with each other. So I arranged them to marry one another. The village level reported to the commune that this person was to marry that person. And there were also forced marriages. Then the commune level reported to the district level, but I did not know whether or not the district forwarded the report to the upper echelon. I did not know how other sides arranged their marriages. I apologize, I have also question 116, and that's the last question, Mr. President. We have had evidence and be made aware that many men and women refused to get married because they had not known each other before. Did you know about this issue? What happened if they refused to get married as arranged? Answer. Nothing like that happened at my site. They all had known one another because my site was not large. We arranged their marriage and the couples agreed. But if the upper level did not approve, they could not marry. Mr. Withers, that's a long passage from Monsieur this statement. Um, my question is a general one. Do you agree Ma question est une question de or not with this non particular statement on the marriages? Affirmation sur les mariages. <coughs> uh, I agree with uh, the statements because the arrangement of uh, communes are where it's Les and as for my uh, commune, uh, we had our commune, own arrangement. I agree with uh, this statement. Je suis avec cette um, do you know if within the DK period there was a policy to force men and women against their will to marry each other? À se marier les uns aux autres contre leur gré. In other words, en termes, that they were married even if they didn't agree mariés, or even si if they didn't love each other. Même pas. I did not know this well. And it depends on the interpretation or the understanding of uh, witnesses. De and I did not know well concerning this matter. As for marriage, again, their wills uh, and are stated in the uh, uh, written record here, uh, names uh, were crossed out. But do you know whether there was any general guideline coming from the top to the bottom, bottom indicating uh, that people could be forced to marry? Answer. I did not recall whether there was such a principle or policy. I did not recall it. What can you tell us about um, variation between the various communes when it comes to marriage? Do you know, is it your recollection that um, the way marriages were arranged or entered into varied from commune to commune. 
d'après vos souvenirs. Answer. Réponse. As for the marriage, the way of marriage, uh, they were not quite different from each other. For example, for couples. Ça n'était pas très différent d'une commune à d'une commune à l'autre, par exemple, pour les couples. Would be arranged a marriage uh, by the chief of cooperative or chef de la coopérative communes. ou le chef de the la commune, commune of arrangé le commune mariage. Ce chef would de la commune declare de la that uh, the four or five couples would que les trois ou be married seraient mariés. And after the announcement or the Une fois que after cette the declaration. The uh, couples would be asked to rise up and make a resolution whether they agree to live together. Et ils Males uh, would uh, rise first and make a resolution, and after that, a female's turn. Ensuite, and after the making of resolution from uh, the five or four couples, there would be dinner, there would be chicken, uh, there would be soup, alors, there would be rice. Il y avait un repas avec You're talking about the ceremony. Um, what can you tell us about Maître the way il de la uh, men and women que -vous nous dire, um, en revanche, found each other. Do you know whether there was a difference between the one commune and the other commune sur, sur in the way the couples were brought together? Y avait-il des différences d'une commune à l'autre dans la façon dont on les appariait? Actually, a man and women were from the same commune. En fait, but perhaps the men and women were from uh, different villages. Mais they were in the same mobile units or in the same work site. They could see each other uh, every day and perhaps uh, they could be matched. There was arrangement in Libo. There was such an uh, incident that uh, the drivers uh, from different from other mobile units and there was incident that driver from other uh, mobile units and they uh, were much uh, with uh, the uh, people from another village and as for the marriage ceremony i mentioned uh, for you already there were no music play there were no adjas attending uh, the ceremony my last question on this subject, uh, Mr. President, before the break. Um, do you re re remember or recall any instances um, in which uh, a woman who didn't like her future husband was nevertheless forced to marry him? S'il y a eu un cas où une femme qui n'aimait pas son futur mari a quand même été forcée de l'épouser. Answer. I witnessed uh, one incident in Lebo. Vu un incident the driver de ce genre from sector 13, du sector 13 got married with a woman à une in the mobile unit in Lebo. After 10 days of marriage, uh, the jours, woman mariage, refused that uh, La femme she did not want to live with uh, that man. A affirmé qu'elle ne voulait pas vivre avec There cet homme. There was no reaction at that time from the chief of the commune and uh, the couple were separated from each other for a while and uh, that woman was uh, explained and the man was also explained by uh, his colleagues, and after a few days, Des explications ont été données they uh, à et à la femme. came to live together. Et there ensuite, was another uh, 
incident. Ou de quelques jours, ils se sont remis à vivre ensemble. Il y a également un incident, un autre incident. Il y a eu un mariage et au bout de quelques temps, les époux ont voulu se séparer, vivre loin de l'autre. Et ils vivent séparés. From each other, and after the Vietnamese invasion, the husband of that lady ran into the forest. Le mari s'est enfui dans la forêt. And at that time, there was a request for a remarriage by that man. Cet homme a demandé à se remarier. It was refused because it was found out that the wife of that man was still alive, and then the lady was brought back to the area, and they lived together. Donc, sa femme était toujours en vie plutôt. Donc, ils ont été réunis et se sont mis à vivre ensemble. Later on, the lady ran away from the husband again. Et il faut savoir également que la femme fuit et non son mari. So these are these were the two incidents I encountered and I witnessed. Donc là, pour les deux incidents que j'ai eu. Follow up. One last follow up question, Mr. Witness. Did you 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 mention only two incidents? Do you know whether the women in these two incidents were ever punished or did ever get in trouble because of their refusal? Savez-vous si les deux femmes concernées ont été punies, sanctionnées ou ont eu des ennuis parce qu'elles avaient refusé de se marier ou de vivre avec leur mari? Answer no. Réponse non. Thank you, Mr. Williams. La défense. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bah, le Président. President, thank you very much. Merci. It is now time for lunch. Uh, the court will adjourn from now until 1:30. L'audience reprendra à 13h30. Court officer, please uh, facilitate a proper room for this uh, witness. And for the duty council, and you are instructed to invite the witness together with the duty council into this court room before 1:30. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Kizumpong to a waiting room downstairs and have him return before 1:30 p.m. this afternoon. The court is now adjourned.